3D walls are a big part of my game's art style, but they aren't actually 3D. Everything here is in 2D space, so how did I do the 3D effect? Since the camera is only moving on one axis, and the shapes are simple, the math is also simple. Let's say that this circle here is the center of the screen, and we have this rectangle to this side. We know that these are its corners. We'd first get the distance vector between each point and the center of the screen. Then we'd multiply each vector by a scalar. The scalar represents the depth that we'd want to achieve. After applying the scalar, we'd end up with a new set of points. And if we connect them, we'd end up with the faces of our shape. In the beginning, I rendered the walls using Polygon 2D nodes, but there was an issue with that. For this Polygon 2D, there's four points, which are the corners. Under the hood, it's being split into triangles, and the texture is rendered onto them. You can see here how that causes the texture to stretch weirdly. I ended up generating a mesh from code so that I could subdivide it. With more triangles, the texture stretches more accurately. I generated the walls by reading the tile map, and I used another tile map on top to choose which tiles would be used for wall generation. In order to make the wall generation more simple, instead of perfectly matching the shape of a tile, I instead generated one of three types. Flat walls, slanted walls, and double slanted walls. For optimization, I combined the walls that were the same type, were facing the same way, and had the same texture. The last thing that I needed to do was z-sorting. While the walls now appear to be 3D, they are still 2D, so they had a lot of overlap issues. I had to assign their z-index, which lets me control which nodes get rendered on top. I set their z-index values based on their distance from the center of the screen and their bounding box. The bounding box shows how far the walls can move to either side. This mostly works, but there's still a small issue with this approach. Earlier, I mentioned optimization, where similar walls would get merged together. Well, if a wall is too big, then it doesn't get z-sorted properly. I haven't done anything about it yet, I can probably just limit how many walls get merged together. I'm gonna be doing more devlogs like this more often, so if you like what you saw, then stay tuned. See you later.